Hey guys, it's Gumo, and we only have one killer left to do to finish the uh, Adept Killer series, and we have the Plague. That's all we have left. It's a little sad to say, but we've done every killer but her, and um, I guess let's jump into it, and just so you guys know, after I complete this, I still will be playing this game, but also making other content as well, maybe more Killing Floor or some... Final Fantasy or South Park, whatever I feel like playing, I'll probably just throw in. Um, so I still haven't platted, platinum the game yet. I platted, I platinumed um, some of it, but not all of it. So we still have um, all survivors have been adept, and all killers are almost adept, besides for the plague. And I just have some random trophies to do like chainsaw a bunch of people with Billy and um you know uh put people in the dream world as Freddy and uh just a few of those and you know like um play spirit and hit everyone with haunted grounds 40 times just little things like that other than that everyone's completed I've done the really hard achievements and trophies like um uh, doing a generator while well, you're the only one left in the trial and escaping. I've done that. And, uh, done the thousand hatchet one from 24 meters away. And just have a few left, so that's a little quick update and the future of the channel. So let's just jump into the gameplay. So, uh, Corrupt Intervention. Your prayers invoke a dark power that meddles with the survivor's chances of survival. Three generators located furthest away from your block by the entity for 80 seconds. Then we have the uh, infectious fright. When you down a survivor, all other survivors within your terror radius are revealed to you and they will scream. They will scream and have their auras revealed to you for 6 seconds. Then they have the Dark Devotion, the Obsession perk. You become obsessed with one survivor. Hitting the Obsession with the basic attack causes the Obsession to emit a terror radius of 32 meters for 20 seconds. You yourself are granted the undetectable status effect for the duration. The Obsession hears the terror radius they emit for the duration. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. But um... I guess that's, that's what it is. I think... It means that you're undetectable, so they can't hear you. I'm not sure if that works towards all survivors or just the obsession. So if you guys know anything about that perk um, or more about that perk, go ahead and comment below so I can know for just so everyone can know because I'm 100% not sure. So, all right, I can maybe look it up and get some more information on it. Usually when I um, do these things. I read this is when I when I talk and break down perks. I usually already know about the perk, and I already you know have just basic game knowledge of it. So the display of your power creates a whirlwind of panic that spreads throughout the land. You become obsessed with one survivor. Hitting the obsession with the basic attack causes the obsession to meditate a radius of 32 meters for. 20, 25, and 30 seconds. During that time, your terror radius is reduced to zero meters. The obsession hears the terror radius they emit for the duration. So, so you guys swap terror radiuses? Okay. So the terror radius is a heartbeat. So my heartbeat becomes hers. But I become undetectable. So she gets, oh, so you swap heartbeats, that's what it is, okay. So basically you swap heartbeats and you become undetectable so you can hunt them down. That's really, that's really nice, actually. I think that's pretty, pretty nuts. Um, I think that might be good on, like, killers like Legion. Because so you hit your obsession, they won't know where you are. Nice, alright. So, um... Basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our Vile Purge on some generators. Uh, she has one ability and just one basic attack um, at the start, but it it can become empowered later on in the game. 
I will explain why in a second. So she uses Vile Purge. It's kind of funny. It reminds me of The Exorcist or the scary movie, you know, when they throw up on each other. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So when you spread your Vile Purge everywhere, um, the areas become and if infected and if people interact with these objects like if people start doing these generators that are infected they can be they will become sick and if they interact with other people they can they can spread the disease They can spread the disease around. Hello. And, um, they eventually get the broken status effect. And you can one hit them, and, um, there's wells around the map, so if, um, they go to a well and they cleanse, basically what happens is that well becomes empowered. And when it becomes empowered, your ability turns into a damage ability and upgraded a version called the Corrupted Purge. And you can damage everyone in a cone. That noise right there um, tells me that oh my gosh, these hitboxes that they cleansed. Yeah. Down, big boy. Also, you can dirty up windows, vaults, um, infectious right nice. Windows, vaults, uh, Doors, gens, lockers even. Okay, this one. Doors, lockers, gens, uh, even if survivors vaulted when they're sick. Corrupted one. Okay. See, like that. Excuse me. Let's get rid of the DS. Nope, no DS. It's fine with me.
we're just gonna go break some pallets now. Oh, someone was here. It's kinda hard to see right now. Break pallets later. Actually, I'm just going over here. Let's just get rid of this one. Let's kick some gems. Go back to applying pressure. Alright. a little bit of a fail. Okay, they vaulted this, so I thought there was a locker. Alright, uh... Alright, that guy's broken. Someone was working on that, John. Alright, hit that, John. You go back upstairs? Where did you g You keep going upstairs. Right. We'll just leave you there. Better things to do. Right oh. Is 
see here. We don't want to give them the hatch, do we? So they cleansed. Trying to find the hatch just so we know where it is. Is it? Go ahead and refill. There's plenty of that. Just trying to guarantee our win here. I don't think any of them have a key. They might have a E, honestly. chat mm. should be spawned shouldn't it unless I'm mistaken and it maybe it spawns at one. Oh, I think it's one yeah, yeah, yeah it hasn't spawned yet I don't think gotcha okay okay Oh, it's right here. Duh -duh. Right. I'm just waiting at the exit. This is enough. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go break a 
wall or something. I don't think we'll be able to. Hopefully this is enough for the adept. Yes. Perfect. It is enough and we just got it. Okay. A ring 20 and a ring purple. Not too bad. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the last killer we needed, so... There it is. I mean, a little bit of sloppy gameplay, a little lot of, uh... You know, uh... Taking a lot to find things, you know, but... Probably not my best game, but it is what it is. That's, that's what we did, and, you know, thank you all for watching.